on YouTube family, how's everybody doing? If any of you saw my last video, you'll see that I said that I work in the film industry. Because of this, I wasn't really able to do any videos last week, and I was so exhausted this weekend that I didn't post a video on Sunday. But I have been spending all day editing some footage from the last couple of weeks so I could show you guys some flashbacks. Thus what is on my screen right now. It is all ready to upload, except for the little flashback intros, which I'm gonna do right now for you. I'm gonna watch this video with you as you guys watch it and give you my direct reactions to what's going on. As most of you know, Vancouver has a ton of breweries and recently I went to go visit one, the Red Truck Brewery. And I did myself return home with a beautifully large growler full of beer and this was so Good, this was gone in one night. In fact, I had to remind my boyfriend to please leave me a glass because he drank almost the entire thing to himself. So I have to go get this refilled right away because I want some more and I may buy two or three more. What is it? The blackberry bourbon ale. Oh, oh I like it. Oh, it's weird. Like, I don't know. Just talk to people. Just talking to the camera like this. I'm having beer. What do you say to the camera? What do you say? Video diary. Oh, what's in the box? So there's a growler. Shirts. Here, growler. Oh, two glasses. Two glasses. Growler. I want a growler of this one. No, this this one. The voucher for the tour. Cool. What's that beef? Oh, yeah, right. I like that one. That's 5.8. The BBA is the. No, 6.3. The IPA. Which you drank. Which you thoroughly drank very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, knock that one down first. Why are there stairs? Well, I don't know, but they put this like massive thing on the wall to tell you where it goes. You see, it's like a road. Follow the road to the <laughs> bathroom. We're at Red Truck Brewery. So I was going to the bathroom. Okay, I have to go down like five flights of stairs to get to the washroom. But I went in here, and there's the sinks are like the coolest things I have ever oh, seen. Wow, that's rad. Isn't that really cool? It smells. Like rubber in here, like yeah, some like, like some serious. <laughs> I won't. Okay. I just brought my phone to take a picture. That's really cool. It is really cool. We tried to find out why it's called Growler and nobody can tell us. Okay, to pause here for a second, I posted this picture on Instagram with a caption that read. Red truck beer today, bought myself a growler. Blackberry bourbon ale, definitely going back one day. Why do they call it a growler anyways? To which red truck beer responded with, at April Hanify, in the late 1800s and early 1900s, fresh beer was carried from the local pub to your home by means of a pail. The rumor has it that when the beer sloshed around in the pail, it created a rumbling sound as the CO2 escaped through the lid. The term growler was then coined. I don't know if that's true or not, but Red Truck Beer responded to me on Instagram, which is actually really kind of cool. I asked everybody in that uh, brewery and none of them could respond to me and tell me what a, why it was called a growler. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for responding to me and I will be coming back. I'll put a link to their website in the description down below. Make sure you go check out their Instagram account as well. I hope that I can get a tour one day. I've never had a tour of a brewery before and that would be really cool. Okay, anyway, continuing. Blackberry bourbon beer. We're gonna drink this one again. Hello. Just walk around like this. Okay, so the next clip is from one of our favorite dog parks that we like to go to. It's kind of self-explanatory. Nala really loves this dog park and we go all the time. Hello everybody, it's Tuesday. Uh, I don't know why I said Tuesday that way, it just so happened. It's actually fairly dark out here and this camera does a pretty good job of making it light out. And this is always out of focus. Thank you. First day at a new job today, which was a lot of fun. Um, as 
most of you know I work in the film industry, so since I work in the film industry, um, I can't tell you what I'm working on uh, or where I'm working. And obviously, I think it's because I walk and it goes out of focus. Um, Maybe if I hold the camera closer. Most of you know that I work in the film industry and because I work in the film industry, um, I'm not allowed to tell you what I'm working on and I'm not allowed to obviously film where I am and what I'm doing. So, uh, so I won't be showing you guys any of that but I will um, give you a little bit of the diary when I'm at work and stuff. Uh, we're just about to start filming so that's pretty big. Something that's pretty awesome about being freelance in the film industry is that you go into these stints um, where you work, 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 and then you're home for a couple of months and taking care of your own life for a couple of months and then you work, 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 and then you get to have some time off and some fun. So Nala's off running in the bush. Come on, Nala. It's a little weird, there's people behind me and I'm trying to pretend like I'm not talking to my camera but clearly I'm holding a camera up and I'm talking to my camera, so. Um, anyway, it's a little bit weird in the film industry like that because you work, work, work and then you get some time off. So, uh, and when we get home from work, the first thing we do is we take this thing out. Nala! 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 Hi, Bobs! those two clips on at the end if you guys saw the opening of the video which you did because you saw the opening of the video I was trying to get Nala to stay at one end of the field so that I could get her to run across but my opening music is 10 seconds long and she is so fast it only took her about five seconds to get across the field that's why she's kind of running a little slow because I had to slow the footage down in the beginning part of the video but every time she'd come running at me she would come instead of running past me like she usually does she would come at me full speed and just body chuck me as hard as she could with her butt into my chest so uh, that was her running into me and then her being too fast for me to film so anyway I ended up getting a pretty good clip for the beginning of the video clearly because it worked but that's why I added those two clips on the end. I love taking Nala to the dog park. It's so much fun to just let her around and get out of the house. And last but not least, here's a couple clips of the boat show that we went to on Sunday. I thought it was gonna be older boats, maybe a couple for sale, but it turned out to be a brand new boating yacht sale. So I didn't get a lot of video of the boats themselves, except for this clip of me walking into a glass shower door which was so clean I didn't see it I made the whole boat shake it like my nose hurt it was really bad um, and obviously the glass was very very clean or I would have seen it um, and other than that I will let past April say goodbye for this video and I will see you guys for my next video here's the clip of the boat show I'll show you guys the boat show in just a second uh, Tim Horton's Food truck? Seriously? That's so awesome. So Canadian. <laughs> this right here is my nose print. Um, <laughs> I did just walk into this glass door. I'm in the shower in the boat. The boat show was small. Actually, it was just a bunch of fancy boats. None of them were, they were all expensive boats. Yeah, that sign says do not enter. <laughs> now we're going into Rona Revy to get uh, some PVC pipe. And this is where I'm gonna end Sunday's video because we didn't really do a lot and today I wanna get some packing done. So I guess I will see you all for Tuesday's video. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, favorite, and subscribe so you can get told when new videos happen. Okay, I love y'all. I'll see you later. Bye.